Hello, I'm Chris Godself, and it's New Year's Day in the year 2020. And uh, since I'm recording, I'll put on my recording hat. Well, I'm making a short series of short videos uh, with the rough title of Windows 10 Getting Down to Business. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm making the videos from a point of view of somebody who's used to Unix or Linux or Mac OS X trying to get their code working over on a Windows 10 machine. And in this series, I'm going to be looking at things like maths libraries and installing OpenGL graphics. Uh, those two things are important parts of my programming anyway. I did a previous series of video shorts from the viewpoint of an absolute beginner, but also aimed at people migrating their things from Unix or Linux or Mac to Windows 10. Those video shorts included a lot of really basic stuff, but the core of it was installing the GNU compilers, the GNU compiler collection, and MSYS2 to get everything nicely working on Windows. Uh, it included a lot of Fortran, and you'll see why in these videos, but it included uh, C and C++, especially calling Fortran from C and C++, building up executable codes from multiple object files, building Microsoft DLLs and static libraries, and so on. We even looked at calling a GFortran compiled library from Microsoft Visual C++ in Visual Studio. Now let's go for it and get down to business and start off with some of those maths libraries and how to install them. Well, before we move on to the next video, let me explain just a couple of things. Uh, first of all, here's our usual Windows CMD tool and we get the usual DOS commands. But I've mentioned uh, that I've installed MSYS2 and without fear of repetition, a bit of repetition doesn't do any harm, um, because I've installed MSYS2 I can use lots of uh, Unix-like facilities and statements. So I can do ls to list files and things like that. So um, if you see me typing strange things that don't look anything like DOS in a DOS command tool, that's the reason why I have these extra commands available. Uh, another thing I need to mention is how to look at postscript files. That is with a .ps or .eps extension rather than a PDF file, which you can read using AcroRead, the Acrobat Reader. Uh, the thing to do is to go and in find and uh, on the internet and install something called Ghost Gum. You'll almost certainly want Ghost Gum, and here is Ghost Gum reading uh, the Laypack Quick Reference Guide. Before we have a little look at that, we'll note that we can also use PS to PDF. That's the command, and we have that available because we've installed TechLive. That's LaTeX for Windows 10. I'd recommend anyone to install and learn a bit about LaTeX uh, if you haven't done it already. It's a really wonderful way of making documents and it's the only way to submit a lot of science papers to journals or mathematics papers. So very well worth having. Let's get back here. Uh, LA pack stands for Linear Algebra Package and you can see what's going on here quite e uh, easily. It does linear equations, generalized linear equations. Next page. Standard eigenvalue and singular value problems and generalized eigenvalue and singular value problems. And finally, 
linear least squares and more linear equations. So general band, general tridiagonal and so on. The next video will be about installing LAPAC uh, and quite a lot about installing BLAS which LAPAC depends on uh, as well as other things. BLAS being basic linear algebra software but we'll have a look at that in the next video.